Hello and welcome back to Football Daily, where with just a few months of the season left, we are analysing the 10 best players that could go down this campaign. Let's get into it. 10. Matthias Cunha we kick off in Germany where despite spending a net £99 million since the start of 2019-20, £38 million more than Dortmund in the same period, Hertha Berlin find themselves in 15th, 14 points behind City rivals Union and only 2 points above the relegation playoff. But while signings like Luca Bacchio, Piontek and Toussaint have struggled for form or fitness throughout this season, 21-year-old Matthias Cunha hasn't let them down. Signed from RB Leipzig for £16.2 million in January 2020, Cunha has continued his excellent post-lockdown form this term, with no old lady player contributing more than his nine league goals at the time of writing. Devilishly fast with an ability to beat a man on either side, he's completing 3.5 dribbles per 90, second only to Amina Harrit in Germany, as well as providing 4.6 shot-creating actions, just 0.1 off Sadio Mane's level in the Premier League. Whilst Cunha hasn't scored since the end of November, if they are to stay up, it'll be the former Brazil under-20 international who provides the firepower. 9. Joachim Andersen When Joachim Andersen arrived at Fulham on deadline day, things didn't look great for the Cottagers. Bottom of the table after four defeats in four games, in which they conceded 11 goals, they had been all but written off by most pundits. The change in their fortune since has been remarkable. Whilst they have still struggled to turn their 11.9 shots per game, the 11th best record in the division, into goals, they have only conceded 21 goals in their last 23 games, third behind Man City and Chelsea in that time. 24-year-old Danish international Andersen has been an enormous part of that. He's completed the 90 minutes in all but one of the last 21 league games, even captaining the side on 11 occasions. In that time, he's won 69% of his aerial duels, 69% of his tackles, and completed 5.5 long balls per 90, third for outfielders in the division. With David Luiz's future uncertain, Arsenal could do worse than signing Anderson from Lyon this summer, a player they were previously linked with during his Sampdoria days. Before I go any further, just a quick reminder to subscribe to Football Daily and hit that notification bell to never miss one of our fantastic top 10s. 8. Andrea Bellotti Long-time Football Daily fans will know we have talked about Andrea Bellotti for years. With the 31-capped Italian shooting to prominence after scoring 26 goals in 35 league games in 2016-17, a figure topped only by Dzeko and Mertens in Italy that season. But the fact it was just the second time he had scored over 10 league goals in a single campaign, and XG suggested he had overperformed by 6, the third largest overperformance in Italy that year, made us initially sceptical about whether he could sustain it. And whilst he was never worth the ridiculous £70 million fee rumoured around then, the Torino frontman has proved himself to be a reliable goalscorer, with an additional 52 goals in 126 league games since. At 27 and having got under 34% of his shots on target over the last four years, 6% less than Harry Kane, he's unlikely to ever be a truly world-class forward. But if clubs like Real Sociedad, Southampton or Monaco were to ever lose their star strikers, Bellotti with one year left on his contract could be a good option. 7. Brian Hill OK, we've slightly cheated with this next one because although 20-year-old attacking midfielder Brian Hill might be plying his trade at lowly Ibar this season, he's in fact owned by La Liga's fourth-best side Sevilla. It's been something of a breakout campaign for the left-winger, who despite playing a central role in his country's under-19 Euros triumph in 2019, has only ever been given one start by his parent club. A lone move to Leganes last term yielded just over 500 minutes, but he has been central under José Luis Mendilibar in the Basque country in 2020-21. His five goal contributions in 18 games might not sound exceptional, but that's second to Kike Garcia's nine in Ibar's squad. And his underlying numbers are excellent. Two key passes per 90 is more than anyone at Sevilla, whilst his 2.6 dribbles ranks 12th in Spain, above highly rated youngsters like Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr and Ansu Fati. Seen by many as the most talented Spanish player of his generation, it's no surprise that Barcelona, Real Madrid, Arsenal and AC Milan are all considering activating his €35 million Euro release clause imminently. 6. Angel Gomez Big things were expected of Angel Gomez at Man United. In May 2017, he became the youngest player ever to feature for the club at 16 years, 263 days, as well as the first player born after 2000 to represent the club. That October, he played a starring role alongside Foden, hudson Adoy, and Sancho in England's Under-17 World Cup triumph, and two months later signed his first professional contract. But whilst his former Young Lions contemporaries have gone on to shine for their respective clubs, Gomez now finds himself on loan at Boa Vista. After a year that has seen the 20-year-old leave the club he joined age 6, sign a five-year deal with Lille and move to the Panthers, 
a club that hasn't finished any higher than 8th since its promotion back to the Portuguese top flight in 2015-16, it would be understandable if Gomez was struggling to find his feet. Two assists on his debut, a halfway line wonder goal and a strike against Benfica in his first four games has been followed by a slight dip, but he still leads his side for goals, assists, shots and key passes. If Lille decide to cash in on him this summer, they won't be short of suitors. 5. Amin Harit Let's have it right, Schalke have put together one of the worst seasons in German football history. Having finished second just three years ago, and mid-table in the two seasons since, no one expected them to foot the Bundesliga table after 24 games with an embarrassingly poor 10 points. That really doesn't tell the whole story though. Whilst many predicted them to struggle after they released Caliguri, Rudy and Bergstaller, as well as loaning out McKennie last summer amidst a financial crisis, their solitary victory is one fewer than anyone else in Europe's top five leagues, and their 61 goals conceded is only topped by Serie A whipping boys Crotone. But one positive has been the form of Moroccan forward Amin Arit, who has been directly involved in 31% of Di Napan's league goals. His performances for a side with the second worst attack according to XG have been excellent, with the 23-year-old ranking 12th in the division for chances created and 3rd for completed dribbles. Now on to his fifth manager this season, Haït will no doubt search for security this summer. If Aston Villa were to lose Jack Grealish, he'd be perfect. 4. Nikola Milenkovic Whilst Fiorentina's situation certainly isn't as dire as Schalke's, with Laviola 6 points clear of the Serie A drop zone at the time of writing, they are still not safe, with only Benevento, Palmer, and Crotone scoring fewer than their 29 league goals. With their attack underwhelming, it has been left to 23-year-old centre-back Nikola Milenkovic to pick up the pieces at the back. The 26 cap Serbian, in his fourth year in Florence, has been excellent again, completing 2.8 tackles and interceptions and winning 83% of his tackles, 10% more than Ruben Diaz in the Premier League. Unsurprisingly, for a defender standing at 6 foot 5, he is very effective in the air, winning over 82% of his aerial duels, with only four players in Italy topping his 76 headers. Whilst his passing isn't the most risky, with just 2.9 per 90 deemed progressive, he knows his limitations and rarely makes mistakes completing 86% of his total attempts. With Liverpool and Man United reportedly considering a £30 million move this summer, Milenkovic will surely follow Chiesa out the door and heap further misery on the Viola faithful. 3. Alphonse Ariola. For a club threatened with relegation, Scott Parker's Fulham squad certainly contains some glittering talent. This season they have been represented by players with the likes of RB Leipzig, Man City and Chelsea on their CV, whilst Anthony Robinson was hours away from joining AC Milan whilst at Wigan. But the player with arguably the most glittering backstory is Alphonse Areola, the three-cap French keeper with 107 appearances for PSG and 46 for Villarreal and Real Madrid on his resume. Currently on loan in West London from the Parisian Giants, Areola has shown all his quality to date keeping 9 clean sheets in 27 games, level with De Gea, Lloris and Schmeichel. That sounds solid enough, but factor in as 6 expected goals saved, second only to Emi Martinez, and it's clear how exceptional the PSG Academy graduate has been. Whilst the likes of Dortmund, Roma and even Spurs could use a man of Areola's quality, we wouldn't be surprised if Fulham pulled off an Edwin van der Sar size shock by signing him permanently this summer, Premier League safety permitting. 2. Yves Basuma Whilst Brighton have confused expected goals experts all season, with their errant finishing seeing them reside in 17th, only above the relegation zone on goal difference, 11 places lower than expected goals predicts, one thing every football fan is sure about is the quality of Yves Basuma. Approaching two years since his £15 million arrival from Lille, the 24-year-old Mali international has been a near ever-present this term, with his 2,124 league minutes only topped by Ben White and Captain Lewis Dunk at the time of writing. His importance to the team can't be understated. He ranks sixth in the Premier League for tackles completed, third in his side for interceptions, second for dribbles and passes into the final third, and has completed 30 more successful pressures than any Seagulls player. Playing for a side that sees the ninth most possession in the division and fires off 13.2 shots per 90, just 0.7 fewer than Man United, Bissouma is the energetic heart of a team that has become many neutrals' favourite this term. With Arsenal and Liverpool preparing to sweep this summer, it surely won't be long until Basuma is playing on the stage his talent deserves. 1. Alain Saint-Maximin Mercurial winger Alain Saint-Maximin may have missed 30 games with injury since signing from Newcastle from Nice in 2019, but there is no doubting his quality when he is on the pitch. Whilst a return of 5 goals and 7 assists in 42 Premier League games to date might not sound exceptional, remarkably only Callum Wilson with 15 has contributed more in that time amongst his teammates. You also have to factor in that he's playing for a side that ranked 19th for possession and shots on target, which has collected just 10 points from a possible 42 across the last 14 games. 
joint 19th in the division that time, just one more than Southampton. The 23-year-old Synthetian Academy graduate has been the one consistent source of entertainment in an otherwise turgid team. His three-shot creating actions per 90 may rank third in the squad behind Fraser and Shelby, but he does the majority of the side's ball progression through his insane dribbling ability. He completes five take-ons per 90, a tally topped only by Adama Traore and Neymar in Europe's top five leagues. With AC Milan and potentially Leon seeking a new right winger this summer, Sam Maximan surely won't have to endure this mediocrity much longer. So guys, that was our rundown of 10 relegation stars your club should sign. What did you guys think of the list? Which of these do you actually see happening? Let me know in the comments down below. As I said earlier, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click on screen for another great football daily video. And I'll catch you next time.